the time the rain All right. and play a song for me. Sounds familiar. <laughs> One of the things that have held America together has been the music that we share and love. Jimmy Carter used music in a way that helped him in his politics, but it had never been done quite that way. I'd like to dedicate this song to Jimmy Carter. I want to introduce to you the great Almond Brothers. Find me, old man, I don't know. He was cool, he enjoyed our music, and he became a friend. When I first met Jimmy, the first thing he did was quote my songs back to me. Bob Dylan has been one of my best friends, along with Willie Nelson. When Willie Nelson wrote his autobiography, he confessed that he smoked pot in the White House, and he says that his companion was one of the servants at the White House. Actually, was one of my sons. My thoughts and my prayers for hostages in Iran or as though they were my own sons and daughters. The hostage thing, I think, amplified a lot of the fears that people had about him. With all the odds against him, he still did what he thought was right. That's not a bad pattern for all of us to follow. Human rights, the right to live like a human, that's something that President Carter tried to make real with his foreign policy. We now had a president that started to see the world the way we saw it. His love for music makes sense to me because music is the voice of the heart. Got to get up. One of the reasons that musicians were drawn to President Carter, he was a man of the earth. For God's sake, he was a peanut farmer. That was the music of change and dissidence. There was a risk politically for that, and it didn't matter to him. I think music is the best proof that people have one thing in common no matter where they live, no matter what the language they speak.